Hi everyone. In today's session, we are going to learn how to create diamond shape waffle chart. These charts are quite useful to show the percentage in a different way. Normally, you must have seen pie chart, donut charts to represent the percentage. So this is another way of showing the percentage. So for this, we'll be using a simple Superstore data set and an Excel spreadsheet, which is used to plot the coordinates for each of these points. So let me start with creating Excel based data set for this. It's quite simple. We are just using these three columns with the value for path and value, which are just the numbers from one to 100 and showing the values from one to 100 in terms of percentage. So that's pretty much it in terms of creating these data sets. So let's get working on the new workbook. Let's get started with the new workbook. So first of all, we will connect to the Excel data set, which I just showed you. I will click on the data set and you will see something like this. And then we will go to the sheet. And first of all, we will convert these two measure values into dimensions. And then we will create a calculated field to get the index calculation. So index calculation is basically used to return the index of each individual rows without sorting the values for these rows. So once we create the index calculation, we need to create a calculation for X and Y coordinate. So in this case, I will create a calculation for X axis. So which is something like this. So we are where we are saying like if the index is equal to one, return one. Else if it, it is equal to two or three, then give me two. And the similar way, four, five, or six, give me three. And once I plot it, I will explain you what exactly it means. So similarly, we will create a calculation for Y axis. And for Y axis, we will do the similar thing based on these values, which we created for X axis. We will just say if X equal to one, then return me index minus zero. And similarly, all of these calculations to give the value. So once we have created these two values, we will bring X axis to the row shelf, Y axis to the column shelf, and we will bring the path to the detailed mark, and we will change the value of X axis computing using path, similarly for Y axis computing using path. And you will see here, we have X axis here and Y, okay. So this is just a naming convention, so I will quickly change it. So this is basically the calculation for Y axis and this calculation is for X axis. So as you can see here, let me open the uh, calculation for Y axis. And when you see here, here I'm saying if the index is equal to one, which is this one, then return one. But then I'm saying if the value of index is equal to two or three, then give me two. So these two points are plotted on the uh, y axis equal to two. Similarly, we are, we are saying if it is equal to four, five, or six, which is four, five, or six, then plot it on y axis equal to three. The same way when we go at the bottom of the calculation, we are saying if the value of index is 98 or 99, then plot it on the 18 value of y axis. Here, if you can see, 98 and 99 is plotted on the 18 axis. And similarly, the 100 value is plotted on the 19th value of y axis. And the same way we have done the calculation for the x axis, and we are saying if the value of y axis is equal to 1, which is this case, then value of x is equal to uh, 1 minus index value minus 0. And here it's just subtracting 1.5 from the index value in both these cases to plot that value. And these are just the calculation created to plot all these points. So now that we have all the points for all the 100, 100 values of the percentage, we need to bring the value which we want to show in terms of percentage. So in this case, we will create a new data set for sample superstore data set and we want to show the profit ratio. For that, we will go back to this initial data set and create a new calculation, let's say for color calculation. And here we will create a 
calculation to differentiate the colors based on the percentage and here we will say if index divided by windows max of index value and we are saying less than equal to in this case we are saying profit ratio right so you can use any measure value which you want to show the percentage and we will say then give me one you can use any any convention here else give me two and and I guess I have missed something here yeah Windows max index. I haven't closed the bracket here. Something is still not right. Oh, this bracket shouldn't come here. Yep, that works. Click OK. And this one I will bring it into the color shell. And click OK. And again, this one I have to compute using the path. You will see the color changed, right? That's what it is showing to your percentage. And now you can bring the value of profit ratio into the table label and we'll show you 12%. We don't want to show it in this way, so we can just put a separate value on top of the dashboard separately. So let me show you the shapes which we can use. So in this case, I will be using a dollar value to show these, instead of these circles, and I will be just bringing the size up and I can then bring that into the dashboard and I will use, because it's uh, in shape of square, so I will use it 800 by 800. I will bring it here and close this one and you will see a nice um, diamond shape of a chart created in this case. And I will just do a bit of formatting and remove all the grid lines and I don't need the zero line as well and I will hide all the headers and it will look something similar to this one now I want to bring the percentage so I will create a new sheet and I will bring the profit ratio and bring it to the text tab and I will hide that and increase the size of this one so let's say let's bring it to 48 person 48 size Click OK and I will just use the floating container for this and bring it here and it will look something similar to this one fit the entire view the size is still not changed let me go back and do it again yep so here you go it looks something like this I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial for more such videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.